Hello, this will be a quick example on how to use the Desmos uh, online graphing utility to create some graph art. We'll be creating a simple smiley face. This isn't exact, it isn't real detailed, but it gives you an idea of how fun this can be to create some art with this. We're going to be using circles, ellipses, uh, lines, parabola, and I think I might even throw a square root function in there. I'm going to start by creating an eye for my smiley face. Uh, right here, centered at the point five five, okay, and I, that'll be a circular shape. So let's start by uh, with the equation of a circle, which I'll have x, and that has to be squared. So I'll use the exponent button here, squared. Move over and press plus y, and I want that squared as well. Equals. And I want the radius, I'm going to have it go out one in each direction. So that equals one squared, which is one. Okay, but now notice that's centered at the origin, so I need to move that to the right five and up five. So my x, I'm going to go minus five, and my y, I'll go minus five, and that moves it to the right five and up five. I'm going to do that same thing, but centered over here at... 2, 5. So I'm just going to copy this whole equation, control C, paste it in, control V. I want this now to be at 2, 5, so move to the right 2 and up 5. So I'm changing my x minus 2 this time. There we go, I got my second eyeball. All right, so now let's put the center of our eyes in here. And I'm going to create another circle to go inside of this one. So I'll copy this original circle over, control C, and paste it in, control V. And now that just overlapped this. I'm gonna make it, sorry about that. I'm gonna make it centered uh, a little bit lower. Okay, so I'm gonna lower this. So instead of minus five, let's go minus 4.5. I dropped it down and now let's make the radius smaller. So instead of one squared, Let's do like 0.5 squared. So 0.5 squared is 0.25. There we go. That looks pretty nice. I got my nice little eyeball there. And I'm going to do the same thing to this other circle here. Actually, let's just copy this one, Control C. Um, but that one, instead of being over here, this is to be shifted back over here. So this one's going to be centered at. Uh, 2, 4.5. So this is, has to be x minus 2. There we go. Now let's change the color so that we match. So this is purple. We can change the color right here to purple. There we go. Cool. Now, let's put a smiley face on here. Uh, a smile would be, well, we could use um, a parabola for that. So let's go y equals Let's do x squared, and my exponent button, squared. But I need to move that over. Let's go to the right, oh, four and a half, and up one. Okay, right four and a half, up one. So I'm going to go x minus 4.5. Oh, I went too far. I meant 3.5. There we go. Changes it nicely. And then shift it up one. So plus one. Now this seems like a too steep of a curve, so let's put a multiplier in front to make this less steep. So I'm going to make that like 0.5. It makes it flatter. Let's go a little bit flatter yet. Let's go 0.3. And that makes it a little bit flatter. Now this is a pretty big smile. Let's only have this go on part of my graph. I'm going to restrict the x values, my domain, to go from let's say 2 over to 5. And the way I do that is with this notation. Put some brackets in here. And I'm going to say, I'm going to put a colon in here. And then to the left of the colon, I'm going to say that my x goes from 2 to 5. So 2 is less than x, which is less than 5. And that chops off that parabola at 2 and 5. So that's the only part of it that I'm using. Now let's put in a nose. And I'm going to use a, a, a line with a negative slope for that. So let's go uh, y equals, oops, 
negative x. But I want it, I'm going to put a line right here, so I'm going to want it a little bit steeper. So let's go to like negative 3. And that looks like it'll probably be steep enough. And then let's move that over from 0, 0. Let's move it over to the right, 4.5, and up 4.5. So x minus 4.5 and up 4.5 plus 4.5 oh sorry I went up too far there Let's see uh, actually uh, we went to the right 4.5 meant to go to the right 3.5 sorry 3.5 and up to 4.5 right okay sorry about that there we go. Now I'm going to restrict my domain to go from 4.5 to 5. So it'll chop it off. Or sorry, 3.5. Sorry, lots of mistakes there. 3.5 to 4. All right. So I'm going to do the same thing for my brackets and my semicolon. Or sorry, my colon. And I'm going to have that go from, uh, as I said, 3.5. And it's less than x, which is less than 4. There we go. We got this part of the nose, the bridge, and maybe a nice little tucked part underneath here. And I can get that from a square root function. And I'll show you how I'm going to do that. I'm going to go y equals, and I want the square root of x. So I'm going to do sqrt of x. I'm going to flip that upside down, so I'll put a negative in front. And then I'm going to make that a little bit flatter. So let's go negative 0.5, maybe even a little bit more flat. Negative 0.3, that's pretty good and flat. And I'm going to move this curved part to right here, where the, where the graph begins. I'm going to move this to the right 3, up a little bit more then 3. So to the right 3, so x minus 3, and then up a little bit more than 3, so maybe plus 3.2, and maybe a little bit more, 3.3, that looks pretty good. Now I want to restrict the domain, and all I have to do is pretty much tell it, because of the default features of the square root function, pretty much just have to tell it where to end. So I want it to end at x equals 4. So I'm going to have this, say, for x values less than 4. So I'll put my brackets in there, my colon, and I'm going to say x less than 4. And it chops it off at 4. So there's my smiley face. Kind of fun, easy. Um, oh, we could even make this a little bit nicer, maybe make these eyes a little bit more narrow, not perfect circles. So I'm going to go back and change this to an ellipse by putting a multiplier in front of my x term for those circles. So let's make put a 2 there and see what happens. Yeah, I made that a little bit more narrow. looks nice. And let's put a 2 in front of this one. It makes it a little bit more narrow. So now we've changed those to ellipse. All right, there you go. Have fun and uh, enjoy.